So just before we start, I just want to say that all these videos are overexposed and the purpose behind the overexposure is so that we can see all the defects and spaghetti lines. And just a demonstration of the exposure level, here's an image of before and after. So this image was taken from the spaghetti detective who was using an Ender 3 and he was looking at various compression level on his 3D printer and he does a very nice job laying out the prints from very compressed to very uncompressed and then we'll use this as a demonstration for going forward. So just a little clarification, all these starting plates that we see here are from part 1 of this video. So all these Z changes you see on these plates are based on that baseline plate that we see in part 1. As we continue to do these plates, you'll notice the amount of trash is significant. And just an FII, FPA, and paper towel was used for all these plate cleanings. And the black filament and the lighting really does enhance the trash that we see on these plates. This will be absolutely true when we start looking at the satin sheet. The satin sheet has more of a 1520 100 sandpaper feel compared to the smooth and textured sheet. Going forward, I'll probably start using a lint-free towel to clean all my sheets.
So why do we go all this trouble with the Z height? One answer is bed adhesion. And this behind me is one of the most challenging bed adhesion tests. So I challenge you to complete this print on your printer. Link provided below. So if you found this video informative and useful, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button. If you have any dots, comments, suggestions, leave them in the section below. Until next time, happy printing.